What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I have another snippet from my interview with DJ Payne, man. And look, this is a great interview, obviously, because I'm sharing a lot of snippets, but the full thing on BrandManNetwork.com is still even better. But this thing right here is really worth watching because it's something that everybody needs help with. Everybody needs to take hold of when we are in the music industry. <laughs> And the things that I want to share at the end, like, trust me, we're, we're going to get into it. It's the network. A lot of artists have a, a bad approach, right? Certainly. So in the same way you kind of alluded to the producers just like spamming emails, are there any like tips that you have that just based off of some things that you've seen, like maybe some specific things that you've seen that would be helpful for artists to understand that this isn't just like one person randomly saying, Oh, I don't like this. This is my opinion. Or these, this is kind of a collective thought of a lot of industry people that I've been around. They do not like how, it, this type of approach and this doesn't work. Well, I think a broad sweeping statement that I can make to address all that is to tell every single artist out there to stop trying to get approval from industry dudes. Hmm. And you always hear it. I'm like, look, stop tagging me in this stuff, please. Well, you you know, you should want to help somebody. You should, you got connections, you got this. No, I don't. And I'm just, I'm in, a, <laughs> I'm in a studio trying to make music just like you. And if I were an A&R for a label, I don't give a damn about you, man. I really don't. If, if I'm in that position, I'm doing my job as an A&R for a label. Get some fans. Nobody cares until you have fans. And then by the time you have fans, you stop caring about all this other stuff. Mm. because your fans are the ones providing a livelihood your fans are the ones energizing you your fans are the ones that you owe your success to they're the ones that are going to take you to that next level some a and r is not going to do that some some verified profile on instagram is not going to do that so <laughs> stop chasing those people focus on making the best music possible and getting it to the right people you don't make music for everybody. There's a very specific community out there that wants your music, that likes your music, and that likes you as a person and as a brand. You just have to tell your story. And once you tell your story effectively and you continue to do it and you build, you build your brand around it and, it, and and you do it over a period of years, and you're focusing on people who are actually going to stream your music, who are going to show up to your events when you have them, who are going to buy your merchandise, who are going to tell their friends about you, who are going to rep you, who are going to um, interact with you on social media, like your post, boost you up in the algorithm, watch your music videos. Then you're going to see how little a cosign matters. Then you're going to see how little uh, a, a radio DJ or a club DJ spinning you once or twice in a, in a year matters. Because trust me, none of it, I've been, I, I was a radio DJ. I am a club DJ. I've been in all those situations. I had the same messed up mentality because it's easy to think that way it's easy to think that all you have to do is get radio spins and all of a sudden the labels start calling you it's easy to think that you just get a, a verified check on your instagram page and you're rich trust me it's, that's not true mm -hmm. i've done all of that um at the end of the day it's just you and your fans if you gotcha. don't have if you have the fans nothing else matters and you you have to pay attention you have to treat them like they matter they can tell if you're not treating them like they matter if you're just focusing on tweeting dj Khaled your soundcloud link all damn day you just wasted uh, he's not even reading that but somebody out there might need your your song right now they might be at a place in their life right now where they need to hear your song and they might be at a place in their life right now where they need to feel like you care enough about them to personalize your outreach or to at least tell your story, share your story. The easiest way humans connect is through commonality. So if I go on YouTube right now and say, listen to my record now, I'm not telling the story, I'm being an asshole. But if I go on, on the internet and say, look, this is what I was going through. I was dealing with depression, A, B, and C happened in my life. How many people are gonna be able to relate to that? Thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions. Mm -hmm. Now we have a connection. People act like this is we're just selling music. No, we're we're, we're humans. Humanity. That's what. <laughs> that's that's the that's the secret. 
can't, <laughs> you can't buy that. You can't package that. It has to, it has to be authentic. Um, people see through that stuff. It's the network. Okay, of course, once again, if you want to watch that full interview, you can watch it at brandmannetwork.com. But something that really irks me about this mentality that I'm seeing from people when they're seeking approval is the fact that they're seeking approval in a time period where the approval is not necessary. It's less necessary. There are a lot of approvals that you need from fans and, and things like that. It still exists. I'm not going to act like there are zero gatekeepers, although they try to push that. There's gatekeepers for specific routes. However, if you don't want to go a specific route and you're open to just making things happen yourself and doing it without somebody's approval, then you can still make it happen and then get it to the point where people come to you. Because me personally, man, one of the main reasons that I ended up outside of the particular corporate structure is because, man, I hate job interviews. And what do I hate about job interviews? I have a hard time sometimes just trying to convince somebody of my worth, right? I'm, I'm trying to like tell you, hey, I'm worth it. Hey, I'm worth it. I'm sitting here just trying to sell myself to you. That is something that I struggle with. A lot of people are really good at that, but me, sometimes it just never feels organic and feels right for me when I know what I do and I typically rather just go do my thing and then you say, oh snap, let me bring this guy in because he got something going on. And that's the same route that you can go. It's worked for me. I've done it time and time again. Yes, it is a longer route because if you can just convince people and play that game and schmooze and move and shake, there are some fast tracks attached to that. But the other door is always open and the other door has no gates. You just gotta open that thing and go one of these mini routes. And once you start popping, people will pop up. It's just the reality of things. So what y'all have to do is stop worrying about being a part of the cool crowd. Like here's the truth, man. The truth is everybody is fucking scared. Right In the music industry, everybody is fucking scared. They might not say that. They might not act like that. But if you look at how most people move, that is the reality of the situation. Because this music industry thing is it's so unorganized in a, in a comparison to a lot of these other industries. And when you have a billion people all thinking that they're going to be a boss, all thinking that they're going to run this situation, all dealing with all these egos and the subjectivity of what is good creatively and what's not and then trying to stay on trends and then you or incorporate business on top of that and having to take care of families, then people get scared. They, they don't know who's going to be the next person to pop up. They don't know who they should be treating right. They don't know who's going to backstab them. Like there, there's, there's so many factors and people are constantly just trying to figure this thing out. Everybody's trying to figure out the next thing. Even the people who are successful where you're like, yo, man, I want to get in their position. They're like, yo, man, I'm trying to figure this thing out. Like, cause that's the reality of the situation. What's going to be next? This thing is moving fast and I don't want to be outdated. Even though I'm popping now next, you, you know, people who don't even know who who I am because people are afraid like that's just the reality of things and if you can realize that and keep that in mind then you can settle yourself find peace and go in your long route right and then you can move differently and be able to take advantage of the situations that are actually at hand as opposed to having to play this game and get into that loop because the closer you get into that whole cycle right that whole I need approval from this crowd and I need to be a part of the popular crowd for them to validate me, my art, my ability to work and all that kind of stuff. The more you're going to get soaked into that whole mentality and that mentality can be toxic. I'm not saying that that is everybody. However, that is just something that environment breeds. It's a really hard environment to move from. Just think about it this way. How many people do you hear talk about how horrible the music industry is? You hear that talked about again and again and again. And when you hear everybody saying that, then you kind of just think, well, why don't y'all just start being good people? Why don't y'all just start treating people right? Right? Why don't y'all just stop like doing this thing to artists and whoever else y'all are treating this way. Well, the thing is, everybody's scared. That's why. Having a scarcity mentality, being a part of this infrastructure that is kind of dog eat dog, it forces you to be that way. So instead of everybody solving the problem with everybody start to be cool, everybody start to be trustworthy and have a certain amount of integrity, it's more like, eh, nah, man, I hate the way this industry is, but I can't really just start acting this way because it's going to leave myself vulnerable and unprotected. And with that comes, you know, a lot of other fears. Look, man, all of this to say, stop 
trying to seek approval. It doesn't do anything good for your self-esteem. You're already an artist probably if you're watching this video and you already have some insecurities when it comes to having fans actually like the stuff that you have. There's too much of that going on and it only puts you in a position to be taken advantage of at the end of the day, right? And the same thing goes for business of professionals because less talked about is the fact that, yo, artists, there's no gatekeepers. Y'all can come up anyway if y'all want to. There's only gatekeepers for certain situations. The same thing goes for business professionals in the music industry. You don't have to come up through that traditional route. You don't have to have a label. You don't even necessarily have to have an artist. There's so many different ways to come into this thing. You just have to figure out the life that you want to get. And there's a billion ways, right? There's a million ways to want get it. Choose one. Look at that path. Look at the many paths to get to that path and choose one. That's it, man. That, that look, that's it. Keep it that simple. Once you start letting all this other stuff in, it's easy to get distracted. I'm, I'm not perfect at doing this, right? But every so often I stop and say, yo, all right, what's all the stuff that I added on that needs to be cut off? Because I got to keep this thing simple so I can get to where I want to go and not get distracted playing other people's game versus playing the game that I want to play that's going to get me to the result that I want versus, hey, I'm winning over here to you, but I'm losing on the inside and in my real life. So as as always, this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself artists who are looking to have accelerated de de brand development and get yourself in a position where we build a custom marketing strategy and get action for you with ongoing mentorship. On top of that, you can check us out at BrandManNetwork.com. And other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.